In this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to reinstall your Rackner VPS operating system. Well, for one, if you just wanna start from scratch, this can be useful. Also, if for example, you wanted to switch out to a different Linux distribution, you will want to also in reinstall your VPS. So I'm gonna share my screen here and let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to log into your Solace VM panel located at nerdvm.racknerd.com. Please note that the login details for this are different from your Rackner client area. And if you don't know the credentials to log into your Solus VM, go to your Rackner client area, click on view email log, and then click on the KVM VPS login information email. From there, scroll down to the highlighted green section, and from there, you will find your Solus VM panel details. If the username and password to log into Solus VM don't work, you can request a password reset based on the username mentioned here. Make sure that the username begins with the word VM user. Once logged in, select the VPS in question by clicking on manage next to it. Then scroll around to the middle of the page and where you see all the different buttons here, we want to click the reinstall button as you can see here. After clicking on it, you'll be directed to the operating system selection page. From here, select on the desired operating system of your choice. In this case, I'm going to choose Ubuntu 20.04. Then scroll down and click the reinstall button. After doing that, do not close out of this page. You will want to pay attention to the top of this page here in the green box section where it provides you with your new server's root password. Copy this over to a notepad or somewhere handy. This is the new root password that you will use to connect to your VPS after the reinstallation process has been completed. I'll go ahead and pause this video and come back to you here after a few minutes. All right, so we've waited a few minutes and by now you should be able to access your VPS using the IP address mentioned here. So using that IP address, try to SSH into your VPS using your favorite SSH software of your choice, such as PuTTY or Bitvice. Log in with the username root in all lowercase letters, then the root password that we saved earlier. And there you go, congratulations, you have successfully reinstalled your Rackner VPS. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this tutorial on how to reinstall your Rackner VPS using the Solus VM panel to be helpful. If you have any questions or are still having trouble with your VPS not being accessible, please feel free to open a support ticket. Our 24-7 support team is available to help.